Hey, Dr. Kevin Miller at Truth Family Chiropractic. Today I'm going to talk to you about how we eliminate sciatica, one of the most common conditions that we have come in to the office. And usually it's not, it's not just like I'm going to go out and pick up something really heavy or I'm, you know, I got a big weightlifter back squatting 500 pounds and going down. Usually it's something very little. They move in bed wrong and all of a sudden, bam, that pain hits and they can't even move. Or they wake up in the morning and they're going to sit down, put on their, put on their shoes and they can't get back up. It's something very little that usually causes that final straw to break uh, to cause sciatic nerve pain. So when they come in, uh, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna sit down and talk with you on what happened, how long has it been going on, what have you been doing previously to try to get it better. We're gonna determine if it's a deep nerve problem, sciatic nerve pain, or if it's more muscle ligament or tendon. All right. And if you look at the chart right here, you can see the sciatic nerve, these nerves in your lower back, the nerve roots actually come together and they form this big, thick nerve in your, in your butt, in your lower back, down your leg called the sciatic nerve. And when that thing gets pressure on it, it hurts really bad. I've seen grown men cry because it, it's hurting them so bad. And uh, it can be burning. They, they're going to rate it at a 9 or a 10 on a pain scale. Uh, it's going to be shooting down their leg. It could go right directly into their buttocks. It could go shooting down their leg. Numbness and tingling. They come in out antalgic and they're bent over. Many different things can cause that. It can be a disc in the, in the spine here um, where the disc pushes out on the nerve. It can be the, the um, uh, joints in the posterior part of the, the spine. It can be the, the SI joint gets misaligned, you get really rotated, inflammation, swelling, you get jammed up in there, and that pressure goes down on the sciatic nerve and causes, causes a lot of pain. So once we determine that it is sciatic nerve pain, we're gonna run some tests on you. We're gonna do a nerve scan. So this is an example of the nerve scan right here. You can see all the red on this one, especially down in that lower back. That would indicate there's nerve interference there, there's subluxation going on in the spine and it needs to be corrected. Okay. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get an x-ray taken. So that x-ray is going to tell me uh, how, much, how long it's been there, if there's any damage going on, if there's degenerative discs in there that's causing it, um, which direction that I need to adjust you and then how long it'll take to get, get better. Um, so we take all that information and then we're going to give you a care plan to get this sciatic nerve better. And some, some people, it can be, be fairly quick. It's not gonna be overnight, I guarantee that, but some people, they come out of it really quick if there's not much damage in the spine, but other people, it takes months. It can take several months to get, to get completely better. But we're gonna see progress along the way. Um, your, your body, we get to work with your innate intelligence, your healing power inside inside your body, you know, because the, the traditional medical model route is going to use drugs and surgery, maybe some steroid shots in there. If it's really bad and the pain's at a 10 or a 12, I get it. Sometimes you need something to just uh, knock the pain down. But the long-term correction, that's what we're looking for in here is a long-term correction of your spine and that so we can heal that pressure on the sciatic nerve and get the problem solved. So that's the, that's the process that will happen to help with that sciatic nerve. We want to get to the cause of the problem and get your sciatic nerve uh, pain corrected. Mm -hmm.